Do you think it would be better to do it with someone else, say with one of my boys? Blood, two heads are better than one. Two heads are better than one. A man was asking me about going into property with their friend. Yeah. Yeah, you can go into property with your friend and that. That's cool. Just don't let, don't, do not rent out your properties to no friends and no family. Don't ever do that. Because when people get comfortable in a property, they don't want to fucking leave, blood. The amount of tenants I've met on this contract, yeah, that have told me that, oh, they used to live in a private property, but that cunt of a landlord wanted to sell the property, so they refused to move. You heard, you heard what the fuck I said. The landlord wanted to sell the property. He didn't even want to evict them. He wanted to sell the property, but they refused to move. So they stopped paying rent and the landlord had to get them evicted. I'm looking at buying a property right now. Stinks of cigarette smoke all over the place. The walls are yellowy, orangey colour from all the nicotine stains and that. Apparently, the guy that was living there who was renting the property, the landlords wanted to sell the property. Although he was paying rent and that, he, didn't, he, he refused to move. He refused to move. It's their, it's their property. This is what happens here. When you, when you rent out a whole entire property to someone, they feel like it's theirs. And like I've said in many of my videos before, never buy a property with tenants in situ. Never. Because they feel like the property is more theirs than the new landlord. They know what's good from the what's good in the property from what's not good. They know what doors creak, what doors don't creak, what floorboards are loose and what floorboards are not loose. They know whenever they flush that toilet, they're gonna hear a water hammer in two minutes. Eh? So when it comes time to moving them and kicking them out, you're gonna have problems. Because when people rent houses, um, when people go to rent a room, they know in their head. This is just temporary. Now, they might go in there thinking, I'm just going to stay here for six months. It might turn out to be two years. But in their mind, it's temporary. Do you know why? Because they don't have their own personal space. There's always, they're always amongst the stranger. So they can never just, oh, shit, I forgot my towel and run down the hallway. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? It? Yeah. They have to be mindful of other people and that there's always going to be a stranger. Their housemate can bring who over whoever they want at whatever time they want, as long as they're respectful and that obviously it? so they know they're not in their own space so they know by default their brain is calibrated to think ah oh, i'm gonna get out of there soon one day now that might that one day might be six years but at least they've they've told themselves you know this is not going to be my forever home and that although it might be um whereas when someone moves into a house a two three bed house especially when they got kids imagine yeah a family moving into a two three bed house they got two kids Remember, when people move into a property and that, they move there for convenience. No one moves into a farmhouse with kids because it's not convenient. They move there for convenience because it's close to their workplace. It's a decent commutable distance. The kids' schools are quite local. It's a decent commute. It's, it's quite easy to get to the schools and that. They're, the schools are okay. The amenities are decent. Like I said, if you live in a fucking farmhouse in a rural part of England, that's dead. There ain't no uh, local amenities like shopping centres and shit like that. So that all comes into play when someone moves into a property. They get along with their neighbours. The neighbours are OK. They like the neighbourhood. It's, it's relatively safe. There's no crime and that. They're not going to want to move because if they move, they're not going to be able to move around the corner to the exact same house. They're going to be a different distance away from the school that their children go to. They're going to be a further distance away from their workplace. Their amenities might not be as good. The bus stop that was two minutes walk away is now a 15 minute walk away. So when it comes to moving, they're not going to want to fucking leave. And they will put up a fight to, for you to get them out. So I'm not renting out my whole entire property to anyone. The only time I'll do that is if I'm giving my property to the council. I'll give the property to the council and then they will manage it and then they will find council tenants. That's the only time I'll do it because I will have a, a fixed contract with the council. They're going to have the property for three years. So for three years, I'm going to get rent for three years. And then I believe I don't need to worry about them getting rid of the tenants and that because obviously they would have given the tenants notice of eviction and that. So they should be leaving at that time.
か、いうのをですね